here is a project manager for policy and workforce strategy at the council. Um, he's also one of our internal data experts, um, and he's going to share just briefly with you all uh, some context around the growing renewable energy sector uh, and the work that's happening around our state before we shift to our speaker. So, Zakir, you're up. Thanks. Thank you, Travis. Good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, so as Aaron also mentioned that we want to ground our work in the data-driven way and make sure that we are uh, really emphasizing a lot on the labor market intelligence that we have. So Jason provided an excellent overview of uh, predominantly on the utilities, sec uh, utilities um, subsector for this energy sector. So I feel that New Jersey has also been a very, uh, has been a powerhouse uh, for solar energy and um, wind energy as well. So I really wanted to quickly provide some context behind those two particular subsectors as well, as we saw that those two are also part of our pathway mapping um, as we go along. So um, just for the context, I want to put some uh, stats here, and these are from um, U.S. Energy Information Administration for New Jersey particularly. In 2019, um, natural gas and nuclear power together accounted for 94% of New Jersey's utility scale electricity net generation. Um, in New Jersey, Pertamboy, per located in the central Jersey, Middlesex County, is the location of one of the three storage sites for the 1 million barrel Federal Northeast Home Heating Oil Reserve. Um, in 2019, New Jersey was the nation's seventh largest producer of electricity from solar energy and was the third largest producer from small scale solar facilities, which is overall 80% of the state's renewable electricity generation came from large and small scale solar facilities. New Jersey's renewable portfolio standard was updated in 2018 to require that 21% of the electricity sold in the state be generated from re renewable sources by 2021 and 35% by 2025 and 50% by 2030. In, New in, in 2019, New Jersey released its energy master plan pathway to 2050, a plan to meet 100% of the state's energy needs with clean energy by 2015, 2050. Um, earlier this year, Gordon Murphy and, um, and his administ administration announced a plan to develop the New Jersey wind port. Uh, for, it will be a first in the nation infrastructure investment. They'll provide a location for essential staging, assembling, and manufacturing activities related to offshore winds um, projects on the East Coast. So the wind port will have- I'm sorry, that excuse me. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, but are there supposed to be slides associated with what you're saying right now? Uh, there are no slides, but we'll be okay, sending you, just checking. We'll, yeah, we'll be sending you something um, after the summit, post summit, as a follow up so communication. Yep. Thank you for asking that. So my last remark on that is that this wind port, um, as meant, um, announced by Murf, uh, Governor Murphy earlier this year, will have the investment of three hundred to four hundred million dollars and has the potential to create up to fifteen hundred manufacturing assembly and operation jobs, as well as hundreds of construction jobs in New Jersey. So as I, as I was speaking about all these trends, and as we heard Jason as well earlier, uh, that tells us that you know, New Jersey has been a leader in this particular uh, sector. And in coming months and in coming years, we expect a lot of um, activity on the workforce development end for this particular sector. So we're really excited and we're really committed to uh, make sure that this sector thrives in the state of New Jersey and we're well positioned to provide all the talent needs that are required um, going forward. So with that, I'll uh, hand it back to Travis. Thank you so much, Zakir. 